In particular, whether you are a senior person, someone with a disability or a veteran, we have some wonderful news to share with you. The government is taking action to assist individuals such as yourself by distributing payments of $3,000. Yes, you read that correctly if you are receiving benefits such as Social Security, SSI, SSDI or VA payments, you will be receiving a sum of $3,000. Now let's deconstruct it so that you have a clear understanding of what is being placed. The fact that these payments are intended to provide you with additional financial help makes them a significant transaction. Is it possible that you have been having trouble making ends meet, paying your bills or purchasing groceries? This money is here to assist with all of that and more, so let's get started. However, who is eligible to receive these payments? It is fortunate for you if you are receiving benefits from Social Security, SSI, SSDI or the Veterans Administration. People like you who might be in need of a small boost right now are the target audience for these payments which are designed to help out. Now, let's speak about the ways in which you may ensure that you get your hands on that $3,000 to ensure that the money is delivered to you, Vexen. It is essential to maintain a level of awareness and to perform the appropriate actions. To ensure that you do not miss out on anything, we will guide you through all you need to know. Seeing the government take action to assist folks who may be going through difficult times is a very wonderful sight to behold. It is for this reason that these payments are here to make your life a little bit easier, whether it be for the purpose of paying for rent, purchasing medication, or simply having a little additional cushion. The Senior Citizens Rebate is a one-time direct payment of $3,000 that is suggested to be made to millions of elderly Americans all throughout the United States in order to assist in mitigating the effects of record inflation and rising consumer costs in recent years. The idea was initially proposed in the middle of 2022 by progressive members of Congress who were advocating for increased financial assistance that would be directed towards senior citizen people with severe disabilities in the United States who have experienced exceptional economic difficulties as a result of the pandemic and the current economic climate, the rebate payments will be distributed in a manner that is distinct from the regular Social Security, SSI, SSDI or VA pension deposits. This idea is tailored to especially benefit individuals who are currently receiving benefits from the major federal programs that are designed to assist low-income households, older citizens and disabled people. In spite of the fact that Social Security and related benefits were given modest annual cost of living adjustments, also known as COELUS, in 2022 and 2023, the argument put forth by supporters is that these increases have not been sufficient to keep up with the unprecedented increase in the prices of essential goods such as food, housing and medical care that has occurred over the course of the past couple of years. Take, for instance, the COLA for Social Security in 2023, which was 8.7%, the highest it has been in more than four decades. That record adjustment, however, was not sufficient to match the annual inflation rate of 9.1% that was seen in June 2022. This is due to the fact that trust fund reserves have already been depleted and rates for automatic future COLA adjustments have been capped. As a result of their monthly social security or disability payments not being able to cover as much as they formerly did, a significant number of elderly people have essentially seen a reduction in their income. It is the intention of this one time rebate payment of $3,000 to compensate for the loss of purchasing power as well as the unnecessary financial pressure and economic concern that have been brought about by the severe impact that inflation has had on the meager fixed incomes of seniors in recent years. In the meanwhile, it has meant providing emergency assistance and a financial bridge until the annual cost of living adjustments that Social Security provides can catch up to the elevated inflationary climate that exists now. Therefore, the senior citizens rebate would provide a much needed short term boost of $3,000 to support elderly Americans with one of the largest lump sum payments or stimulus checks they have ever received from the federal government. This would be the case even though the rebate would not permanently increase the monthly benefit amounts for seniors. According to the proposal that is presently being written in the Senate, the rebate payments of $3,000 that are intended for older residents would be distributed to individual participants of the following government benefit programs. Benefits for Social Security Retirement, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Veterans Disability Compensation and Veterans Pension Benefits are all examples of benefits that are provided by Social Security. Not only would the rebate payments be extended to the core groups mentioned above, but they might also be extended to Low-income seniors who are participating in other programs such as Medicaid, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, TANF, and Housing Assistance Programs such as Section 8 vouchers. As of the 31st of December in 2022, the most important requirement is that you must be receiving your income and health care from one of the major federal programs that are designed to assist low-income elderly disabled individuals or destitute families carrying children. The net would be cast quite to distribute these $3,000 rebates to any seniors who were current or approved beneficiaries of these federal programs in the previous year. Proposals have also been made to potentially include senior citizens and disabled individuals who received or were approved for Social Security or VA benefits at any time in 2022. This would be the case even if they were not recipients as of the end of the year cutoff. 
There is also the question of whether the payments should be made to individual beneficiaries or whether senior married couples who are receiving Social Security and disability benefits together should receive $3,000 apiece with the possibility of $66,000 for the household as a hold, as a hold, as a whole. It is now the case that the majority of plans advocate for treating these rebates in a manner that is comparable to stimulus checks and other tax credits by issuing $3,000 to each individual senior beneficiary. But regardless of the circumstances of the home, however, the final eligibility standards can be subject to change as the Act undergoes additional negotiations and refinement over the course of the following months. Due to the fact that this is an emergency stimulus program that is aimed at households with lower incomes and households with fixed incomes, it is anticipated that there will be income limitations or thresholds that would limit the individuals who are eligible to receive the full three dollars triple zero in rebate payments. Although there has been no finalization of anything as of yet, preliminary proposals suggest that the phase-outs might operate in a manner similar to this. Individual taxpayers who are receiving Social Security payments or other forms of federal assistance as their sole source of income would be eligible for the entire $3,000 if they have an annual income that is less than $75,000, which is the threshold for married couples filing collectively. Such a limit on income may be increased to $150,000 in order to get $3,000 in benefits for each individual. In the event that the corresponding income limits are exceeded, the payments of $3,000 would begin to be phased out over a certain range until an upper limit is reached at which point high-income seniors would no longer be eligible for the program. It has been suggested that any rebate payments made to senior citizens who earn more than $125,000 yearly in married households that have a combined income of more than $250,000 should be completely eliminated. The general framework indicates that the intention is to concentrate this inflationary relief rebate on seniors with low and moderate incomes, while at the same time allowing middle-class retirees who are collecting Social Security to potentially receive some level of partial payment as well. These income caps and phase-out ranges could be subject to significant changes. The major exception that is currently being discussed is how to treat senior citizens who have considerable assets and non-wage sources of income in addition to Social Security or disability checks. These sources of income include items like 401k payouts, dividends, interest income and money from investments. It has been suggested that an asset ceiling of approximately $750,000 in retirement savings should be implemented. This limit would exclude seniors with higher incomes from receiving refunds, regardless of their situation. Seniors with greater earnings who are nonetheless eligible for needs-based federal benefits due to high and reimbursed medical expenses related to care facilities, long-term care insurance or home health aids may also be eligible for potential exemptions. These exemptions could be carved out. These income restrictions, phase-out ranges and asset criteria are still very fluid and likely to change as the proposal continues to be refined and discussed over the course of the coming months. This is similar to the majority of the parameters around the $3,000 senior citizens rebate plan. Federal agencies would then need to hash out the procedures over how to efficiently process and distribute hundreds of dollars worth of these $3,000 payments. Here are some of the leading ideas that are being proposed for how the money would be sent out. If the senior citizens rebate program is ultimately passed into law, which is still a big if, then the procedures would need to be figured out. Direct deposit payments directly into the beneficiary's current bank accounts or federal payment debit cards that they have already set up would likely be the quickest way to distribute these one-time reimbursements. This is similar to how Social Security and other federal benefits are already paid out on a monthly basis. Those individuals who have retirement accounts that are receiving monthly benefit payments could potentially see this additional $3.00 triple zero payment appear in their account as an additional automatic deposit from the Internal Revenue Service or another federal agency that is administering the program for senior citizens and disabled individuals who do not have direct deposit set up.